keen on his end because uh, there Kirby does pretty well in this matchup. Notably, his small frame is so good at avoiding Falcons, the best tools he has in neutral. Uh, notably, down tilt. Just down tilting, not only do you put out a hitbox, but because he gets so close to the ground, it also basically plays around grab, dash attack. Look at this. Sean, though, clearly knows the matchup. Look at the options he's choosing. He's playing at this exact perfect range and going for things like up tilt, things that will absolutely hit Kirby no matter how tiny he is. Uh, that being said, grunts through and gets the up tilt. Really smart right there, but oh, this is where the bad stuff happens for Kirby. Even though he's small, he's light, and that means that those Falcon moves, those Brutally powerful Falcon moves are going to be killing that much earlier. Down the out of the corner, that's some nice solid damage and stage positioning. But again, managing to get out of the corner. John Mark, though, he's... I think that definitely we're seeing how Sean is playing this matchup really well. And now that we're getting to the point where kills are on uh, both these players' mind, the nature of the game is going to change quite a bit. We're seeing landing forward or thing like that, things like that, but... Oh, interesting. Uh, and once again, we're seeing the crouch. Just the down tilt potential. It's what led into that strong neutral there to actually take stock one. John Mark, who, who is not favored to take this in the slightest, uh, managing to actually get a lead for just a moment there as Sean manages to clean things up pretty quickly soon after. <clears throat> Great reactions from uh, Sean. Seeing that uh, blade beam coming, whatever it's called. The blade from uh, Final Cutter able to air dodge that on reaction and there it is again the down tilt when you see a falcon charging at you it's such a fantastic option just flick down on the c-stick and it shuts him out all right good damage from the down throw at this percentage you don't want to be stealing things like up throw and back throw oh but here's where things get oh, nicey all right seven forward seven up airs but not enough to actually kill and Ooh, just barely out of percent range for that up smash to do the final job. And look at this. I love the way that Sean is managing to find these hits and that down tilt. That's one of Kirby's weaknesses. His up B is just it has no hitbox on the way coming up, and he doesn't snap to the ledge, meaning that uh, that down tilt is absolutely primed to kill right there. And now things are dangerous for John Mark. Because Kirby, one of his... Never mind. I was going to say one of his weaknesses is the fact that his kill power is inconsistent, especially from, you know, you know, trying to find it in neutral against a fast character like Falcon, but he recognized that shield drop and managed to kill him regardless. I'm loving the way that Sean Mark is playing this. I'm also loving the way that Sean is playing the matchup even now really well. Oh, but, oh, that back air, the late part of it, still able to connect. Up air, gonna do some solid damage. The down air out of hit stun. Such a, wait, if that manages to get the reversal, it's so powerful. And the up smash goes for the landing neutral air, and Sean had scattered that out. He saw it before, actually landed it before, and that time, it's enough to completely take the game. We now have Sean going up 1-0, but... Honestly, John Mark still looking really good here. Still definitely could take this. That was a last hit situation. Uh, especially because, honestly, what we hadn't seen yet that game was a ledge guard. Or like, yo, Kirby going off the stage, off the level, and challenging Falcon, killing him at really early percents. Something that the characters really, it's very, he's capable of doing it with his multiple jumps, his long lasting hitboxes. But for the most part, Sean has just not been giving him the opportunity, the chance to find some really powerful edge guard like that. But if in this game he does manage to find it, it could be massive. Oh, right here we might see it. What a beautiful drift back to the ledge. But he's not able to get off the ledge, and that means there's going to be even more damage. Still chasing him down, loving the pressure from John Mark. Oh, and drags down with the forward air. Interesting. All right, rec good recognition from John Mark. Whoa, fantastic recognition. Will the edge guard come out to play? Not quite. Sean is still alive here, although he's taken 113%. But if he's able to survive, we know that Falcon can just end stocks disgustingly early. And there it is, the down air hitting through the stage. That frame tight. I believe it's frame perfect. Window coming into play. And all of that hard work that John Mark had engaged had managed to do for himself is undone as now he is fighting from behind here. Yo, yo, what's up? Yeah, we're seeing some cool stuff here. John Mark looking really good against Sean, who, as stated before, for those of you who don't know, won Xeno last night. Yeah. 
like a real I heard he's been fight. on a little bit of a tour at the moment. Yeah, and oh, you know, I was saying how Kirby can edge guard Falcon pretty easily, but Sean's just doing a great job of not falling to it. Nonetheless, Prime Lil is going to take it, absolutely. <laughs> And now, even game here, when you think about the percentage that's been done respectively, even though John Mark is behind, I think he's done at least twice as much damage as yeah. Sean has dealt. I think there's a lot of uh, situations here for, for Kirby to like really cheese out stocks, but it, I, I think it's a you know, high risk, high, high reward. Oh, there the timing is. was just too good. Yeah. He waited it out. You saw he was jumping out yeah. there, jumping back, jumping out there, threatening the option, but never pulling the trigger yeah. until John Mark had exhausted his resources. Yeah, he's like, I, I know that my, my jump speed can match yours. Every time you puff, I'm going to go back. Every time you <laughs> fade in, I'm going to come out. Nice and patient. Didn't pull the trigger too early. Yeah, and oh. They're going to beat out Raptor Bruce. Yeah, and one of the things about this matchup is that Sean is forced to play so aerial based because on the ground. Oh! Dang, another one of those. So many forward smashes being landed in this game, too. John Mark needs those. I mean... <laughs> yeah, he's taking way too much percent from these up airs. Yeah, and... Oh, it got the trip. Gets the tech chase. Ah, that Falcon kick, though. Able to cover so much space. Great job with that quick forward air, but... Yeah, they were both on fire dashing each other. <laughs> yeah. And uh, back in the end, it. there's no fire. Just a yeah. quick back. Handed fist to the face. Yeah, that's that, gonna clean up the game. That was actually really unfortunate. That dash attack was just slightly misspaced. He was really close to, to hitting and got. Uh